Freeloaders. I'm Mike Papa Foxtrot. And I'm 3T. Freeloaders is a regular look at what is or has been free to download from the PlayStation Network. We download the games and give them a play and see if they're worth the download and with them time. This time we're looking at Mass Effect Legendary Edition Collection, which contains the entire Mass Effect trilogy, proving once again that video game developers have an interesting grasp on numbers as there are five games which make up the collection. Mass Effect itself is a military science fiction franchise that depicts a distant future where humanity and several alien civilizations have colonized the known universe using technology left behind by advanced precursor civilizations. Mass Effect was originally released in 2007, Mass Effect 2 in 2010, with the original trilogy's final installment, Mass Effect 3, coming out in 2012. A fourth game, Mass Effect Andromeda, was released in 2017. A fifth game, still in development, but Mass Effect Legendary Edition, was released in 2021. And these are our first impressions. Uh, mm. Genuine so, first so hang impressions. On, hang on, let me, let me just do the numbering here. Right? So basically... <laughs> so basically does this mean that this counts as the fifth game, which means that the fifth game will actually count as the sixth game? Uh, who knows at this point? Uh, because you... <laughs> because uh, when, when, we were, when we were looking into it, right, this is, it, it was at, at this time of recording, December 2022, there are apparently five, to game, five games in the trilogy, <laughs> but the sixth game, which is the fifth game, is still in development. Uh, yeah, let's say yes. <laughs> I love numbering. I mean, this is Crash Bandicoot all over again. Uh, um, why do they do it? It's it's it, like Fast and the Furious. Everything has to be Scream. Uh, like all these film trilogies, all these film uh, I mean, franchises it, do it. And it, oh. it could be it could be worse. Of course. I mean, they could have gone uh, Mass Effect: The Next Generation. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. A, a decent numbering system, if you're going to reboot, and Call of Duty's done it as well, like Modern Warfare, and then 10 years later, Modern yeah. Warfare. <laughs> it, it's, it, um, Battlefield, I mean, I don't know how many Battlefield 2s I've played over the years. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, isn't it? But uh, So what do you know about the Mass Effect universe? I know that it's called Mass Effect, and it's a space thing. That's all I know. I genuinely have had no interaction with the franchise whatsoever um mm. you started telling me something about how it's to do with how the engines work but um oh, well they, they, well uh, that that's what i understood i mean the only thing i know about mass effect are the spaceships are gorgeous but they usually are in these things anyway and from what i can understand the propulsion method uh utilizes uh some kind of um gravitational system that reduces the mass of the ship which allows the ship to travel uh faster through the universe but um, I'm guessing there's more to it than that, but I do remember the ships are gorgeous, and I remembered something about Shepard, because I've always laughed that the commander in this game, I believe, is called Shepard, and of course, from Stargate Atlantis, there was also Shepard, mm -hmm. and I also like the idea that the guy's called Shepard because he looks after the flock of people underneath him, and I always think mm. that's really funny, and you wonder if Shepard was just used as a placeholder name in the early days, uh, maybe. and just got left in. Yeah, <laughs> it does recur, doesn't it, because you have uh, yeah. a lot of characters, the, the name Shepard, there's always, there's always mm. meaning behind a, a well-constructed character name. Uh, yeah, you know, um, I mean, I, I mean, it, it's one of those things. I mean, I, I mean, you know, you, you get people, you know, you see uh, people whose name actually follows what they do. Like, uh, you get someone called, I don't know, uh, so, someone who uh, looks after uh, water, and his name happens to be Well or something like that. Nominative <laughs> determinism, I think it's called. Yeah, that yeah. is. Oh, there you go. That was, <laughs> the word, that was the word I knew. I it was on the tip of me tongue. Don't know why that's fresh <laughs> in my head, but there it is. Uh, so yeah, it's. Uh, I'm surprised I've never interacted with it, but I, I genuinely don't even know if it's first person, third person. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's running around or whether it's flying ships, whether it's both. I've never ever seen it played or or picked up no. a controller and played a, a Mass Effect game in my life. Like I said, I've only seen the ships, and the ships looked absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and that's the only. I mean, and again, I've only you've probably seen the hero ship. So, uh, but I guess third person would be my guess because a lot of these games are because playing this kind of, I mean who knows we might get options we might get options let's let's hey shall we just jump in well there's multiple games so let's go for it um I'm going to look for the any button but once again they have failed to include one on my controller so I'll just choose a, a different Good, one because <laughs> because I'm just pressing x now because this music very oh god I will Terms say the, conditions, the yes, uh, as we've we've been having conversations uh while we've been waiting to uh, to jump in and the mass effect 
title screen music has been playing and the whole time you were talking it was like you were a character in a, a movie trailer like for a Michael Bay film like there's this well I've got three options here so let's oh ha- hang on a minute I'm 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 looking I'm looking to turn the music down <laughs> oh okay um, should we play should we play the original original should we well, go back to 2007 and just go with Mass Effect I or, think... or shall we do because hang on a minute this is this is no, we only have the trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe maybe their numbering isn't uh, isn't quite as off as we think. But I think in general, uh, I just don't want to have to wade through it. Uh, I have no knowledge, so Mass Effect One is probably a no, good starting point for probably, me. Probably because that way we at least start to learn the universe, and it will give us a good taste. Of, and of course, those who know the universe already know. Yeah. And for us, it's a thing. And I'll tell you what: if this is three. If this is three games all in one, three. Three campaigns all in one. This is very good value for money already. This could be a good providing, uh, yeah. yeah, providing it pay, pays off, and I think it will because you don't get to three in a series without actually making something good. So three, five, um, or six, depending on where you where you count. Um, I'm going to press start on Mass Effect. Then. <laughs> yeah, Mass Effect. Me too. <laughs> Still haven't found the volume control for the music, but never mind. <laughs> So let's hope we get a good introduction to the Mass Effect universe. Like you say, so it's we'll play for popular. about 15, 15 minutes and then we'll jump in. So there you go. Look, there's some kind of gravity uh, generation device. Obviously, okay. this is very much in our wheelhouse. I think we were, we were talking about this yesterday. This is uh, this is the kind of game that I'm very surprised I haven't played, just because uh, you know spaceship porn is something that I I like. Um, <laughs> it was very much mm. sort of in my head when you were talking about the ship engines. There, I felt like adding, "I'm Daniel from Space Dock." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't do the. He doesn't do as no, much. It's as another guy because he, he's gone off to do the sojourn, yeah. which is really nice. I really love. I really love the fact that he used that as the name of his program. Yeah. Sojourn, I mean, and it actually popped up in uh, For All Mankind as well. One of the spaceships that went to Mars was called the Sojourn, uh, and of course, it, it means I think it means traveler. It actually is a, yeah. it's a proper word for traveler. It's really good traveler or something like or, that. It, or it's journey, got a mean, or, uh, like or a, journey, a, a, yeah, yeah, so yeah to journey travel or, or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's really good. And I'll tell you what. Daniel from Space Dog, if you're listening, I very much doubt it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, your uh, your mini series, fantastic. Um, shall we press any button again? <laughs> I have. I've got some classified okay. top secret things happening on my screen. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm in that case. I'm behind you now. So never mind. These I things wouldn't worry. It's it's all no. just uh, it's all just showy, really. Intro as we choose our start. Character. New career. Yes, please. Um, Oh, do I want to be John Shepard, Jane Shepard, or enter a new? Oh, hey, I, I got the name right. You did. <laughs> Because, um, as I said it, my brain went, "No, I, I can't. I, I must be confusing Stargate with this." Well, they're spelling it differently, so it's not quite as on the nose. But uh, oh, but it's a little bit like uh, the name's O'Neill, and that's with two L's. Yeah. Well, that's to differentiate him from the uh, from the movie, isn't it? <laughs> um, are you going to be John? I, I'm or just going to. I'm just going to stay with John. I think. Well, I'll do Jane um, just be... so we got a bit, a bit of visual interest. Okay, and I'll keep that name. Because Please why not? Please log in to access your uh, R two. I forgot the R two. I was I was think I was thinking about uh, <laughs> trying to change my name to like you know uh, John Doe and profile see if I could actually do that. <laughs> uh, profile reconstruction. Press S or I don't know. Yeah, confirm whatever. I really don't care. Identification. Right, I'm going to leave most of this the same. I think normal is fine. Uh, I don't yeah, know what a lot of it is. scale on the level of of the. So that's really you know, auto say is fine. It. Yeah, yeah. Let's just uh, let it do its thing. Yeah. You say about fifteen. I don't minutes. know if this is a launching. I don't know if this is like the thing that actually launches the spaceships, or if that is a spaceship. But I have actually seen that uh, as a background. Well, so it could just be like a, a platform, like a, a well, it's like a big catapult that just throws throws them into space. It's like I love basically, that, see. yeah. I think that is uh, quite interesting. You know, that's what goes great with Babylon Five and stuff. Anyone who puts a bit of effort into uh, coming up with a whole new idea for space travel is, yeah, I'm always going to listen because I think it's um, it's, well, it's one of the actually things think that, about it. Yeah, one of the things that really irritates me is, um, uh, with a lot of sci-fi is that you have the ability to generate artificial gravity. Now, if you can generate artificial gravity, that's the ability then should have the ability then to move your vessel. And so the fact that they have gravity plating or some kind of gravity, then if you can then use that as part of your propulsion system, that ties the whole science of it together. It's a little bit like, you know, in Voyager with the, uh, 
you know, we can use the holodecks, but we can't make food from the replicators. Mm. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but then OP, OP tech, I mean, it's put in there, it's plot, like plot armor, it's put in to, um, to sort of tell a story. And, um, the best a sci-fi story. will distract you well enough that you don't overthink it, but it should also have answers if you want to think about it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, should, it should at least be consistent within its own universe. It doesn't have to actually be true, you know, true, but it has to be consistent with its own universe. I'm getting a Star Wars vibe with this flight deck. <laughs> yeah, very much. Yeah, that's the that's okay. Star Destroyer, isn't it? I suppose yeah, I think front. that's that's the gate that throws you. I think. Yeah, I do think that's the other thing with Star Trek, isn't it? While we're waiting for this to all load up, is that um, if transport has really existed, why would anybody have a phaser? You would just have something that could transport somebody into nothingness, just to put them into a buffer and never bring them back. It's the be biggest weapon of mass destruction in that universe. Mm. It's the ability to transport people. Um, or you just like literally, you know, intruder deck four, um, lock on. Standard, sta standard, uh, you know, standard beam operating procedure. Space. Just beam <laughs> them into space, <laughs> or just, there, just there beam them up and then then cleanse the buffers. You know, purge them. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. gone forever. Thrusters. Thrusters. So okay. that that was us being thrown into um, into a guest near light speed. That's pretty cool. Drift. Yeah, drift. That, like drift gates. That was the. That, that's the. That's the thing. So, yeah. some of these voices, I think, are, might be famous people. Something on the tip of my tongue. The voice of this beardy guy with the cap. Um, remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the back? Yeah, that might be Seth Green's voice, you know. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy. Could well be. I mean, I don't really. Yeah. Well, it's nice that they're explaining the idea of how the ships work in a in a cutscene as well. Yeah. Uh, are we? We're gonna just let. We just let, let it play as it is. We'll play for about what 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. We will drop if it's out. too long. Oh, hang on a minute. Like I wasn't listening. <laughs> I wasn't listening. Um, I'm just going to tell them to shut up if I can. Oh, I'm going to cut the chatter. That's but I don't know how to yeah. move the. Like uh, oh, use the the, uh, the analog. Got it. Yeah, cut yeah. the chatter, boys. Your soldiers. <laughs> this this is this is this is a paramilitary vessel or a military vessel, one of the two. Yeah. If I I wasn't listening to them, I wouldn't have been listening to them in real life. Shut up. <laughs> no. Shut up. You do your, do your job. Just give them the impression that I don't give a crap. Uh, where where is the captain's chair then? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you just have to stroll about like uh, very full of uh, importance and uh, another liquid. Um, I heard. I didn't. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say I heard as well. Yeah. I, think, I think it was are you that is Commander Shepard there and yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah. <laughs> Press options to access uh, mission computer uh, uh, Oh, okay, so we're supposed to go and find the uh, person who called us, then. So I'm just going to head towards the arrow, I suppose. Uh -huh. Yeah. And there's a guy here. No, I have not got oh, to the no. flag yet. I've got to find. I've got. I might have to find the. That's all right. There's a door behind this uh, display board. Who are we and looking? There's a little. There's a little golf flag uh, that you're looking for. So you'll you'll get to him in a minute. It's a company called Nihilus. Uh, yeah, just a minute. Commander I'm Shepherd. just gonna have to go into my first. options, we'll uh, go into my controls, what about? and go into my I'm interested in this world we're going to. Oh yeah, well, in, that's invert y, you invert y, y axis. Yeah, and then hopefully that has I've never been there. there. Uh, I mean, again, know? this is nice. Oh, photo mode. Oh, hello. Oh yeah. A map. Having a, quad, having a contact with Mr. Mr. Chalkface Tattoo Man. Oh, it feels so much. No, it doesn't. Why did that not change then? Do you know something? Uh, Your people are still newcomers, uh, Shepard. I quite like uh, the, the D-pad changes. Very things dangerous as well. place. Da, 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 da. Is the Alliance truly Invert. ready for this? Camera sensitivity normal. Why does it not feel right? The what's really going on. This is probably this not the best way to experience this, <laughs> because this is like yeah, story stuff, and I'm not really paying attention. I'm just gonna ask what's going is on. Someone gonna fill me in, Captain. Uh, I think well, you can be reasonably not vague. <laughs> the door's not That's open automatically. Uh, mine did. No, right. I, no, I went to a different door. Uh, I see. What's the payload, Captain? 
a research man. Like have a little chat amongst Under themselves. Some kind of beacon during an excavation. Oh, I recognise his voice as well. It was proof. Mm. What about? Uh, I'm interested in this world. What's the nice is that years ago. I've heard their legacy like still remains. The mass relays um, the citadel. Our ship if we drives, say beyond beautiful, we know. On if we say we wouldn't know. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, uh, it jumped out with technology know. forward. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm slightly ahead of you, but it sounds like we're making very similar choices. <laughs> yeah. We need to bring the beacon back to the city. I quite like the fact that they've both Obviously got like spacesuits. That interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are you trying to scare me, Specter? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very Never hurts to have a few extra hands well, on board. I'm just going to be nice to this guy because he's, he's, uh, he's a scary looking alien, so I'm just going to be nice to him. Oh, I recognize him. Here to his <laughs> mission is far more than a What's going on, Captain? All right. The Alliance What's going the on? human guy who comes in, he's got a very recognizable yeah. voice. Yeah. Yeah. Role yeah. In shaping interstellar policy. That's why we, need we want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres uh, represent what are we the Council's up? power and What's the power, <laughs> If they accept research in <laughs> their ranks. I might slow down a bit just so we're making the same cho the choice at the same time. Might just see what are the details? <laughs> Don't care about the name of it. <laughs> just, I'm quite happy to call it Jubilee Watson. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? It means nothing at the moment. But we are making choices. I think the other thing that I've seen more than anything else is that N7 logo. I'm, I'm familiar with that logo. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. Okay, I can, I can, I'm, I'm glad you're here to help. It never hurt to yeah. extra hands on I think I did that as well. What's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. This head does have a feeling of beyond human going on here. Yeah, I don't want to be in too many conversations where I'm having to make a load of pointy clicky things, but maybe that is just this is the kind of game it is, you know, it might be more of a story based Yeah, I mean, again, click. again, this is the thing, this is not the way to actually probably do it when we're having to talk over things, but we've had this before, but I'm not going to let that get in the way of me enjoying it. I quite like the graphics for 2007, this is quite nice, it looks quite nice, I mean, whether it's been enhanced or not, I don't know. Well, and if, if, it's, if it um, grabs me, then I will go back and play it again. Again, and probably put my own name and ID in anyway so uh, this is just to get a, a, a brief look at it a first impression as we say uh, okay what's the next step I'm in the middle of getting an action report about some bad stuff going down spoiler alert I'm ready to go 10 seconds <laughs> So we're not the captain. Everything comes we're out after that. No comm traffic at all. The military. Yeah, dead. commander is the rank they gave us. Reverse thirty-eight point five. It's interesting because the guy we're standing next to only has three bars on his collars, and that doesn't make sense. Seventeen him minutes out, captain. Yeah, no other alliance ships in the area. Four for a captain. But all right. Take us into I guess it depends on <coughs> what they, uh, how they've uh, arranged their rank oh, system. That's our best chance to secure the yeah, I suppose. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Oh well, that's um. <laughs> You're getting the video feed of the uh... yeah, yeah. That's quite. Um... <laughs> Everything cuts out after that. Okay. No calm traffic at all. Yes, so I think, I think everyone dead. on the ground is dead. That would be probably. <laughs> yeah. Let's distance. go the other direction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Somebody Mr. Stonyface has got a really lovely captain. emote. <laughs> the little yeah, side bits that, that flex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really Going nice. heavy and head straight Take for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Right. Looks like action Helping is about to happen. Is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Island, you coming with us? Oh. Mate, he's on his way. He's going on his own though. He's he's going full Captain America. <laughs> I move faster on my own. All right. Oh, I haven't got there yet. I'm still uh, still heading that way. You're probably only about ten seconds behind me. Yeah. Again, look at the ship. I mean, we haven't had a good look at the ship. But the ship looks really quite quite nice. Oh, it's very lovely, beautiful designs. Yeah. 
somebody's thought about it, and that's what's uh, that's what I enjoy. That somebody has not just been thrown together. What about survivors, Captain? All right. So, oh look, there's a there's a couple of no names in the background. They're not they're not coming back, are they? I don't know. They might not. Not if I'm uh, <laughs> if I'm in charge. It's probably not going to do very well. Right, use touch pad to draw or holster. Okay. But you can also. Are we, are we going to jump out? All right, I understand. If you trust him, I trust him. <laughs> That's pretty much what I've done. Well, I mean, essentially, he gave us a briefing. If you can't trust him, why is he on board the vessel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what a lovely ship. Saving content. Does that mean we can start shooting things? Yeah, you, you get a couple of things just to uh, do a bit of target practice on as soon as you land, which is nice. How do I get my gun out? Uh, like it's that. exactly as you'd imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Holding L2 to look down sights is um, pretty standard. Yeah, now I have to change my... I, I, I don't know if I... This this is... Duh, duh. Yeah, I inverted and then turned it back because it, it wasn't. It didn't feel right, but now it does. Now it does. Okay, yeah, good. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? How do I put my gun away? Oh, oh, oh! Switch to a bigger gun. Oh, Lieutenant Expendable just got uh, wasted. You're further down than I am. Only slow. Oh. Lots, of, shot, lots of cutscenes. Lots of cutscenes. I mean, I would have preferred not like the little. But then we are starting up a story, so. And I suppose this is how games were back, you know, 13, yeah. 14, 15 years ago. So it's a long time. I mean, there are people playing video games now that weren't born when this was out. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Don't make me sad. I was already um, quite sad. Uh, on the day of recording, I saw a message that said uh, apparently Doom is 29 years old. Yeah. Um, Groundhog Day is 30 years old at the time of recording, which Ugh. is... Um, which is quite odd, odd. Okay, can we bring him back? Uh, no. He deserves a burial. We can't help him now. Forget about him. Oh, well, none of those are good. I'll say he deserves a burial, but whether I can be asked to dig uh, a hole, I don't know. I'll be nice about him, but I'm not in charge of it. You can deal with it, mate. How? How? Well, I'm not getting that as an interaction, so... Oh, I had to try and heal him and then investigate, and then in, um, matey next to me said, let's, uh, what do we do about it? I don't know where I'm going. Um, I guess. Head oh yeah, I had to dots. go. I had to hit a trigger. I had to hit a trigger point. Yeah. Use uh, triangle to uh, uh, use med to heal yourself. Um, okay. Uh, uh, we can't help you now. Yeah. That's right. Sometimes people die. That's what, that's what we're here for. You called it Basically before we even left the ship. Yep. And the other guy just said, I, sir. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm just going to keep moving up the hill. Uh, I'm guessing we just follow and just keep following. Uh, it, it's sort of. Um, oh, really? Oh, they're quite forgiving. With, I'll tell you what, the guy with me. Um, Mate, did, did, did the other, was the other guy a better shot? Because you are really awful. Maybe you should have been the one that died. Because I, I took all three of them and I watched your bloody tracer fire and missed them. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that you used can to send give orders to my squad. This, is, this has a little bit of a, of a sort of a. Yeah. The guy I'm with is. Ba I'm just gonna. Maybe I should send him ahead as 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 a meat shield. <laughs> I just did as well. I, like, you go up. You go up <laughs> ten meters. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. That's the problem. Like I said, well, I've not been paying attention hugely, but I just hit. This gun has got a very slow rate of fire. You can switch as well with L1. I don't know which one I ended up with. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got. I'm, I'm with a sniper rifle of some kind. I'm going very slow. But we're having slightly similar but different. Oh, bloody cutscene. Yeah. Not that far. Oh, okay. That wasn't good for him. Uh, some new character just got introduced. Oh, that was awful. Oh, here she is. Oh, I tell you what, these robots look like the ones from the reboot of Lost in Space. <laughs> 
Only they don't have as many arms. Yeah. Oh. They've got... I think Who I is she shooting at them? Oh, like that. Are they dead? Well, are they down? Gunner and Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Okay. Love that gun. Yeah. Oh, I'm, well, I don't know what this gun is, but I'm loving Give it. Give me a status report, <laughs> Williams. I want her gun. She's got quite a nice gun. Unless that's the same as ours, and I just we'll haven't tried to get off the distress call, but they cut off our communications. Okay, how do I put my gun away? Because that's what's causing me issues at the moment. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? Oh, a we gun away is uh, the uh, uh, the touchpad. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Oh, because that's what's causing me issues. I can't talk to people apparently while I well, I can't talk to this girl anyway. She's just standing at attention. Oh, she when I killed them robots, she she just started talking at me. still be there. Well, she's not. I'm You're standing in front of her. It says talk. We need that beacon. Oh. oh, now it is. Okay. What happened here? I'm wondering if this is the controller that has my e that the X button's a bit dirty. <laughs> it might not be the game. I've just realised. Okay. <laughs> right. Go to squad screen to spend talent points for new squad members. Yeah, yeah. No, she can earn her talent points. Let's go. She's supposed to be leading the way. Where's the rest of your squad? Oh, all right. tried to double back no, it's not the X. The X is fine. It's uh, the actual. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one. All right, one what left. killed them? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? Oh, I, I see. I've just found this. What the hell is Geth? Geth haven't been seen outside the veil in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Right, I'd rather have this. They must have come for the beacon. Laser assault rifle. Oh, okay. Bad dudes. Bad dudes. Take us there. Take us there, girl. Oh, what a that! Ah, uh, this guy deserves to to get off because he keeps standing into my line of fire. Yeah, that's the the, the thing that happens. Okay, push X. Uh, I'm just um, what is this? Open. Yeah, I'm having issues with open. Like oh, it's because I'm holding the button, not tapping the button. Oh. Where did, he, where did these bodies go? Did these robots just vaporize themselves? I wanted to <laughs> clear them for technology. I don't think we're supposed to think about it too much. <laughs> oh, I see it's there's a robot way. behind it. Alright. Let me shoot this guy. I do think this is something you have to sit and concentrate. What I do like is the threat the threat the threat system that comes up is quite good. Uh oh what like Stop the standing in front of me. Something that's asking me to he is a this. terrible shot. Investigate dig site, I see. This is the dig site. Can I go up right on here? here. It must no. have been oh, moved. if you are uh, against a wall or something and you push X, you kind of tuck in. Maybe we'll know more after yeah, yeah, um, I accidentally found that when I was chewing at those robots. Uh, let's go there, I'll do it. Make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramp. Alright, top of this ridge. Two um, shots to drop them. Uh, the AI is a bit stupid. The AI was trying to shoot him through an obstacle. I want to check it out. Yeah. Is there a jump? Anything that does no right? That's get me weapon out. I've just that's melee. Quite like the sniper rifle it's given us. Looks like the camp yeah, I've been sticking to the standard um, kind of rifle. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, my problem is I've been pushing and holding the X. You just have to tap it. That's the problem. Hard to say. It's um, oh, I I know, like you said, it's the kind of thing you just you have to take your time and and, and enjoy. But constant cutscenes in between things are not mm, really. But they, this is this is the first one, and this is universe film. So yeah, I don't need to talk to either of you. I don't want to talk to either of you. I just want to get on. I, I mean, to be honest, I'm not that not that bothered with it, with the actual um, with the fact that they, they are continuously talking. It is. It's a necessary part of the universe building. Uh, so, exactly. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be of... too harsh on it, but I'm just no. I'm not a fan of, of constant cutscenes. I'd rather try and involve the action. I know, but like, it's a 2007 game, so yeah, it, it, things were a little bit different back then. So oh, God. yeah. Still Repeat the sequence oh, of no. button presses before time expires. Okay. Oh god, please don't tell me it's Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, only very slightly. 
Uh, that seems to be reasonable. Because, I mean, that was that, that annoyed me with Battlefield, for example. Oh, I don't like this blaster pistol. Yeah, no, it's just a, a very Thank brief... I'm, I'm I instantly, guessing... instantly like pushed reload on it. <laughs> On, on a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I that's what I was. That turned out to be a melee. I think I, I ended up going for a reload, but I'm guessing these don't need reloading. No. Energy weapons. Who is she shooting at, and why is she shooting at someone? Space zombos up the road, maybe. Some locks sequence times begin manual override. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay, no, that was actually quite good. I um I approve of that. That's Did actually you know in the area? That is um the prophet, That the wasn't enemy. too bad. I'm guessing that some that's easy decryption, so later on locks are probably gonna be slightly harder to undo. Um, do who we are want you? to get to a what kind of position do we want to get to before we? we call I don't know. I mean, I'm happy to stop whenever you are. I mean, I'm I'm currently I'm interrogating some civilians that are in a the security thing so yeah. we are more or less at the same point yeah. um, what I'd like to know is why these guys were hiding and hunkering in here well I quite like that I've got the option of investigate or goodbye <laughs> uh, I think that's what it is it's very similar to the game games of its age it is it is an adventure yeah so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh Goodbye. <laughs> and I think at that point, it's a good point for us to also say goodbye for part one. Ooh. And um, we can then, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> or oh, seamless transition, nobody knows. Uh, and, um, and for you, um, dear listener and viewer, it will be uh, momentarily that we'll be back. But for us, we're going to try and fight through some cutscenes. <laughs> So, we've spent a little bit of time in the Mass Effect universe. Uh, so, Mike, what did you make of uh, of this game in general? I have to say, I it was a nice little... Um, we, we've, only, we've only played uh, the uh, Mass Effects, Mass Effect, not Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 2, uh, 3, uh, in, this, in this collection. Um, it's 15 years old. Uh, some of the uh, control interface choices, I think, show that. Um, I think one of the comments I made while we were while we were uh, playing, um, you know, af after the uh, the initial introduction uh, that we've had, and uh, when we've gone back and looked at it, was that the AI certainly shows its age. The, it, it's interesting how the AI has come on a very long way. Um, uh, you know the fact that uh, when people are pinned down, they don't move. But as you, I guess, as your skills get get better, then the AI gets harder. So the AI adapts with you, which is what we the level we were playing on. So, um, yeah, a uh, couple of couple of you know control interface decisions that I don't like. But then I have problems. I, I'm 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 a I have problems with user interfaces and stuff and how to do things because first of all I have to invert my Y axis which makes me a little bit crippled when I'm playing these games because if you can't but overall loving it actually loving it very I can see why um, people like this it's a very competent third person shooter uh, with the ability to control squad now I have to say for the most part I haven't bothered controlling the squad because they just got in the way. <laughs> and uh, going forward, I might start sort of sending them on like busy jobs just to keep them away and out out of the way and alive. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, very exciting, interesting story. Um, I think my only concern really is the way the story is told by having too many cutscenes. Um, too many cutscenes in the middle of action. Now, that, of course, is again, we are playing a game that is 15 years old, and I think that's yeah. how they did it back then. These days, they kind of blend the cutscene a little bit more seamlessly and would have probably less cutscenes, and they would be in... The exposition would be after a battle or before a battle and not, like, in the middle of doing something. Yeah. 
and and the thing that that I uh, tutted loudly about when we were playing was that my instinct is to go in and just try things. And at one point, I blew up a container that said "critical mission failure, start again" or, or "go back to the last save." And the last save was apparently about four cutscenes before that, and it made me watch them all again. Uh, there's yeah. no skip. I think you know nowadays you'd either have a hole to skip from the start or you'd at least be able to do that on a second viewing but I'm not going to hold that against the game too much no. as you said it's an age thing and yeah. it's my own stupid fault for, for, for shooting something clearly explosive um, it, it was a nice lesson in just be careful what you do uh, but yeah I, you know what I think I may go back and play this from the beginning again because we haven't also we've, we've been talking over it we've been comparing notes and, and mm. just seeing how it's been going uh, and I think to give it a much fairer shout I may go back just create a completely new ID not go with the standard two here and um, and let myself just get swept up into the story because it's it's kind of instinctive that the controls uh, just come naturally to you. You don't have to overthink too much. Yeah, you know, we're we're thinking about reloading, so we're pressing square, and we both found out very quickly that that is throwing something yeah, out. That throws something else. It's like <laughs> an, an X and X X is interesting. If you hold the X, it doesn't do the same as if you stab the X and stuff like no. that. So it, it's got again, it's trying to deal with the, the control interface. And the problem is that when we come from a first person shooting world to a mm. third person shooting world, third person is slightly different, and also. It, again, it's it's just it, it, once you once you're in the universe and you learn the controls, that's that's the thing. That's the only problem I was having with it, really. Um, but even picking it up, it, it feels natural. You instinctively know, yeah. look down the sights, fire, uh, and everything else just comes nat- secondary. You learn it. I think by, I by had pressing. to say to you, um, how the hell do I put my weapon away? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a touchpad. Again, this is. But the that was one the of the first prompts on yeah. screen so, oh I didn't see that so yeah. I didn't read it that's the problem is that I was doing something else while that was happening so um, yeah. but uh, overall quite quite exciting quite an exciting concept of a story quite interesting um, and, and it's also a slightly build your own story you change a little bit as you change, change the story I don't think the story is going to change massively um, but was certainly I think it has a divergent divergence in there um, but not a lot. I mean, I don't know. I haven't got to the end. I haven't got to the end of the campaign yet, so I can't tell you. But from what right. I've played, very happy. Yeah, uh, it's good. It's very playable. Uh, you can pick it up and just go for it and, and have a really good time. And um, even despite its age, there's some nice mechanics in there. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm happy with it. And I will probably go back and give this another another shot uh, it's definitely replayable I could happily redo what I've done so far mm. just b- with a bit more concentration um, there's obviously no hidden catches we'll, what, it's a it's a lovely value bundle for oh, part of much. your monthly you know uh, regular subscription fee getting three full games uh, where a lot of games don't bother with campaigns anymore, it's kind of a nice little treat, isn't it? I it's think it's a nice little offline game, a game you can play offline. Yeah. Uh, like I said, this is a game that you know. Who knows? During the Christmas period, uh, you've got some time. Uh, you know, maybe uh, the people you play online with are a little bit busy because you know they've got yeah. other things they have to do, and you don't want to jump into uh, you know DMZ on your own. Um, and get you know murdered by a 15 year old or less. <laughs> um, you know this is a game you can play on your own, so um, it's quite nice. I mean, games that you know it's similar to are like your sort of um, beyond. Was it beyond? Beyond and uh, um, beyond human, human and beyond uh, human and stuff like that. you know those kind of games where there's a little bit of an investigation. You're supposed to investigate more. I have to say, I've been a bit more gun ho. I've been like, let's kill the enemies and get it done with. And I yeah. think that. That leads me to the replayability of it because I think if you made different answers, the story would be different. So I think that you can affect the story and also you can miss details. Like there were the scientists. I don't know. I've, I've, we abandoned the scientists on the planet when, in, from the from the initial introduction. I mean, what happened to them? I didn't see. <laughs> I, only only the white only white lady um, was the only one. And even the guy I was the guy that you know, the grunt that survived um, during that, that I mean I, I mean where was where did he where did he go so it, it's <laughs> the, the, there there are things that are I didn't do any investigating so I'm just playing it on a very just 
run, it's like a speed run, but not a speed run. So I can see myself going back and having a look. Um, whether that is immediate or not, I don't know, but certainly worth having in your library, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's a it's a story game with action, but you can play it as an action game with story, and, and that's kind of nice, really. You've got the options of I think it appeals to everyone, it. doesn't it, really? That's, Different that's ways. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And like you say, if you've got a bit of time to yourself, there's so few games these days are playable offline that it's kind of a, a lovely throwback. I think maybe for people of, of our age, that we're, <laughs> you know, where games can be released, you go, oh, is there no campaign? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. And it's just uh, uh, campaigns are nice because yeah. campaigns help you understand the universe that you're in. But I mean, these days, you know, I mean, let's be honest, it's like Fortnite, PUBG, that kind of thing. It, it's just like you just jump in and you just want to shoot each other online, I online, guess quick and dirty. So you that know. that's what it's not like. It's not. It's 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 kind of your third person. It's got that similarity. If you if you're used to games like Fortnite and um, and and mm. PUBG, I hate calling it PUBG because Battleground is one word. But um, if you're used to games like that, um, then you you could pick up and play this. Uh, but it's nice that you can actually get some story and, and something valuable out of it. And I can see why it's got this. Um, this massive following um, that it that it has. Uh, is I, it... I, I, by the way, I I, I hate that it's uh, COD because of is a preposition and shouldn't actually be used. Ah, uh, yeah, but I we know. won't go there. Anyway, you can't, can't get away from <laughs> um, things that. Sorry, you, you 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 were about to ask a question. I'm I'm about to. I think we've we've talked about. Uh, most of our talking points really I was just going to cut to the chase uh, at the end of this you know it's a game everybody's either familiar with or Mm. has heard of (sighs) was this worth the hard drive space and time well initially I was very angry I was like 108 gigabytes oh my (laughs) god what the hell (laughs) Um, but but that's 108 gigabytes I mean that's that's a modern that that is a modern title in its own right uh, mm-hmm. these days, uh, and you know you put the disc in and then it goes off and the disc says, "Oh yeah, you bought the game. Um, I'll go and download the game for you now because the disc is just full of nonsense." Um, or you know you invoke the digital key uh, and and you download it. So 108 gigabytes for three games, three games. Yeah. Okay, they're basically it's, it, it's a continuation of the story, but it's a trilogy. It's like mm-hmm. I mean. The hours and hours that it's going to take you to get through those. I mean, that is worth the monthly. Uh, I mean, it's probably worth the yearly value, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, this this is um, the, the, you know this is a, an interactive film, is what this is. And yeah. I mean, definitely this this is not this is not a game. It's an interactive film. It's a film that you're forced to interact with uh, to uh, force the narrative. And um, 108 gigabytes for three films is not that much. And um, would I have paid for this is the next question uh, that we normally go to. And I would say um, if I had, I think I, if I'd bought the first one, if I'd have found it and bought it secondhand, uh, it might have interested me into going to the next one. And so I think this is a game that perhaps I would have bought at this price. Um <sighs> Mm. just to have if I'd have had it on a previous console perhaps and I wanted yeah. all of them in one bucket yeah I can see this being worth the while and certainly worth the value uh, with the, the membership fee for the PlayStation Network I'm going to be a bit obscure here I, I think that uh, it's knowing that it was uh, a £60 pounds, um, value then I don't think I would have gone out and bought it for that if I was it's three and games, mind. It's three games. Uh, yeah, I know, but I think it's a, bo- oh, would it's I... a box set. I, I mean, imagine it, it is a box set collection. Well, that's why I've almost got three three answers. Would I have yeah. bought it? No. Uh, is it worth it? Yes. And uh, if I was if I was umming and ahhing about spending money on my PlayStation Plus subscription, this would say, yeah, it's worth. It's worth the yeah. subscription. So that's that's take those answers as they are. Overall, a quite positive review from me, which is a rare month. <laughs> uh, well, no, we've had a few very positive so far, so, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely, um, definitely a game which I've enjoyed playing. Um, definitely bringing back. To- no! 
and that's past times where uh, James played that the way that played. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the uh, the other two in the trilogy, though um, there were only three there, and we were promised five or six. But like, I guess that's just <laughs> that's just the universe. That's how the universe. That's how the universe uh, of of Mass Effect works. So obviously, this is the core. I think this is the core game. And then they've, you know, tacked on some others, and then they will be tacking on others. And I guess this is an advert for them to get new players involved and interested in Mass Effect, so that when the new one releases, you have people coming back to the franchise. So I can see why they've done this. So uh, you know, yeah, uh, and it's a very interesting franchise, and I'm looking forward to um, spending a little bit of time with it and just um, getting deeper into the story. And with that, this is Mike Papa Boxtron. And this is 3T, and we were looking at Mass Effect Legendary Edition Collection, currently freeloadable from the PlayStation Network in December 2022. <laughs>